Hello everyone. My name is Sagar Pudale. I work as an English teacher in Santukaram National Model School. And today we are going to talk about Scratch. Scratch. What is Scratch? Yes, it's a basic language of programming. It is used to create some animated stories, some games, and some simple programs. Uh, if you want to know more about Scratch, you can just go to the Google, type it there Scratch. First website that's scratch.mit.edu. It's of Scratch. You can create your projects online or you can download an app of Scratch. For my convenience, I have downloaded the app and today I'm going to use that. Let me clear first thing. In this video, I'm not going to talk theoretically, means what is Scratch, how to use it, what are the functions, rather my focus will be on practical. And while doing the basic things, I will explain you what is that thing, how to use that, or what is the logic behind that. The most important thing uh, while doing any program or making a story, animated story, what is necessary, what is important, logic. So I'm going to tell you some basic things about Scratch and how to focus on logic. Okay, so now I have downloaded a program, an app of Scratch and that we are going to use to make a basic calculator. So after downloading the program, just click on that software, it will be downloaded. And then it will run. And when you open for the first time the app, it will look like this scratch. Yes, it will look like this. Here in the menu bar, you have many options file, edit, tutorial, scratch project, etc. So I'm going to click on this first. What is this? Here you can select your language. By default, English is selected. Then you can open your previous project from your computer. This project you can save to your computer or you can make a new one. Okay. And this is editing. Okay. So this side, if you can see, whatever you are doing, the things, whatever programming you are doing here, it will be in the center. And how that program is looking, it will be here. So this is your editing area. This is the area where you can see your actual animation, stories, games. You can run it here just by clicking on this green field. See, here it's written as Sprite 1. This is not necessary for us as a calculator. I am going to delete that. Then here, two options are there. One is choose backdrop. Take a background. Yes, here are many backgrounds fantasy, music, sports, outdoors, etc. But none of it's going to suit me. So what I can do? I can use paint. We can customize our background here. I'm just going to take a rectangle. Drag it here. This design creativity depends on you, how you want to see that totally depend on your interest what color do you like how do you want it according to that i am going to keep it uh, very simple the basic thing about programming is the user interface whoever is going to use that it should be easy to that person only that thing we have to keep in mind one more rectangle i am going to draw it here what I am doing, I am just creating a background for my app, for my software. Okay. I have selected first a rectangle, then adjusted its size, width, area as per my. If it's not convenient to, you can just again delete it by pressing delete button create again a new more 
whatever you like maybe square etc yes and then i am going to change this color options are given here you can take any color yes i am going to take this color and then i can enter this t stands for text i will change the text color and i am going to write here the letters s t n m s that is san tukaram national model school basic calculate yes i have done now this just i have to adjust the font it should look good it should be in the center yes just to name is basic calculator then your background is created what you need one more area one more area is required here for answers i will explain you what i am going to do everything i am going to tell you this where i am doing the work this is the editing area i am creating a background for my app for my software okay first i have created this rectangle i will press some buttons here 1 2 3 plus minus etc then this is the name of my program here answers and whatever buttons whatever numbers i am typing i am using it will be displayed here okay so now again go back to the coding area here many options are there and if you can just see now i am there on motion but nothing is shown here not a single option is there motion why stage selected no motion blocks i have just selected this backdrop no motions to use motions we need some sprites what are the sprites they are objects pictures numbers used to create a software okay so if i will just create on this choose a sprite i can see there are many animals people fantasy dance music many many pictures are there and if i just scroll down i will get the thing what i require yes numbers these numbers letters i can use for my calculator but instead of doing that i want a little change i want the numbers according to be my style so again we'll go to the same option sprite and paint yes now in paint same thing i am just going to create a box i am going to give it a gray color yes and i am going to take a text inside that and the text color should be white and here i am going to type it here one number now i want to just increase the size of this one yes it is increased let me take it to the center if you want it to be if you feel it's to be just adjust it now this two buttons one is select icon select this and adjust the box width yes so your first button is ready just take it to the area where you need it yes you can give a border to this if you want to give a border just to give a border to this i want to give a yellow color border increase the border width yes now the number is looking a little good very good now what i have to do i will just copy this i will go to the next i will go to the next sprite how to create a next sprite click on paint here i will go here i will just paste it there and i have to just type the number nothing else box width will be same for each and everything 
number is not visible because the font was font color was gray color now after doing that change take the number to the center and increase its size and the same thing we are going to do for all the buttons yes it's a basic calculator the same thing we are going to do for all the buttons the design depends on your creativity you are thinking so I will create all the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0 button and then I will come back to you now I am creating the number 9th till 8th I have completed for 9th also same process I have copy pasted that and text I will select I will change the font color and I will type it here 9 now one question may come to your mind why I am taking this box or why I am putting the number in inside the square the simple answer is that if you are just taking the number you have to press clearly on this number and if the number is kept inside, if the number is inside the box, even if you are clicking it anywhere on this box, the number will be used for the calculation. Now this totally depends on your creativity, what layout you want for the keypad. After creating this, what is required? One more button that is zero same thing go to the paint sprite print paste it here and i am going to type it here zero these are the numbers that we need for the basic calculations okay just increase a little font adjust it into the center it should look like zero yes it is done where to take zero that depends on you i am going to take it here then what we need i am just creating now some basic buttons commands will give uh, later on so next we need another sprite all the buttons i am creating in paint sprite paint I will go here, I will paste what I have typed earlier. Go to the text, change the text color, make it into white so that it would be clearly visible. Or you can, if you want to change the color, you can change it later also. Yes, this sign I am going to use it for multiplications X. this I will put here then some again some basic I will copy paste this I have copied it now I will go to the paint another sprite another button text change the text color I will make it into white and then I will type it here plus it's too small we have to just increase it size okay make sure that it's in center yes now it's in center but a little bigger we want yes now it would be it's looking good so plus beside that only i will take minus symbol in paint again we are going go to the text yes and now uh, minus every time we have to adjust its size by default it will take small font it should look minus sign like that you have to adjust it this will be we are using just beside the plus sign 
layout should be the simple one so for that purpose only I have added plus minus together then multiplication already we have taken beside that we will use division sign so font color I have changed I have to increase the font size now yes now it's looking as a sign for division yes now the buttons are created here one more space is there so there we'll add one more button that is suppose if I want to use this button for square change the font color yes if I want to use it for square button should be like that only so one more I have typed it here too and I will drag it here so that it would be visible yes now it's looking as square if you want if you want to find out square of something this you can use now here this empty space I have kept because if I will press on this button 1 2 3 4 5 6 numbers will be displayed here and after that operation after addition multiplication etc if you want to clear the number you need one more button that is clear so I am going to create a button with name clear this time I want to change the button color and its height everything so I'm going to select this yes I'm going to change its color if you take all to the right side colors will be visible to you all the colors will be visible and as we know this color I am going to keep I have to press on this yes color is changing now you can see whatever color you would like you can take that color I will take a little yes this color I will take and font color I am going to change into red font color I am going to change it to the red I have changed the font color just need to adjust to according to our size so that I have so I am going to increase its size yes you can place it here and see yes now it's looking good this side also will increase yes it will look good this is the option after putting the numbers if you want to clear them if you want to erase them delete them this button will be used now we'll go back to our coding section yes now what I want to do first if I will start this program this green button means if I will start this program now nothing is happening because layout is there but we have not given any instructions so I will give you instructions but first this I will take it here if I will press on this go means if I will start the program 
what will happen first I'm going to take some other things yes I want to tell you one more thing is that now this layout is created but nothing is happening because we have created the layout but we have not given any instructions to the computer now we have come back to the coding sections here many options are there motion look sound events control sensing operators variables my blocks and if you click on any there are many sub options in that so what we are going to do i have taken in from events first when i clicked when i clicked what should happen here one program is not there so i am going to take that from the extensions that is text to speech yes i have added here and i am going to take this two programs yes hello we'll press on this hello what is the sound is coming hello so one minute now i can change the sound here i will make it into tenor and just see what happens hello it's just saying hello but i want a customized message i want to create a message according to my software so what i will do i will change the message instead of just hello, hello. I will go to that tab. I will write here hello, then welcome to STNMS basic calculator. I have customized her message. Let's see what it says. Hello, welcome to STNMS yes, Basic welcome Calculator. STNMS Basic Calculator. Okay. Now the first program we have given that it will welcome us. Now we will go to the sprite one by one, and there we will create some basic instructions. Now I am here. You can see it's a button one. It's a sprite one. To this we have to give some events what we are going to do first thing is we have to set we will take this when this sprite clicked whenever we will press this button one number what we want we want it should display here so we have to for that we have to create some variables so i am going to create a new vari variable what are the variables mm, that I am going to explain uh, first I will just create this I am going to type it here display and I will take this variable display here Whenever program will start, it should show here zero. If you can see here, it's displayed showing here. I will make it large red out. Okay. So this, whenever you will press this green button, hello, welcome to STNMS Basic zero. Calculator. So for that, what we have to do, whenever program starts or cal calculator opens, we have to set variable to zero. So I will set our display. To zero click on this one button it should change by one so for that what we have to do we have to go to the operators then take this join button here and in that 
apple and banana one example is written that it will join that so that we are going to delete and we will take our variable what is our variable display and so we will put display into this and we will write it here one why we are doing like this because display is zero we have said display to the zero so display means it will consider it zero and it will add it by one it will join not add it will just join I will take it here yes now if I will go to here and press one it's showing me one 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 it's just adding it's just joining it's not now adding it's just joining okay now if I want to clear that what I have to do I have to take this same button to the clear options so I will go to the clear button and there I will say it whenever I will click this now I am going I have gone to the clear button so I will take the events <coughs> in events I will take this option whenever this sprite clicked whenever someone clicks on clear what it should do it should change the variable our variable is display so it should set display to zero let's check it yes now it's working one 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 and clear clear okay great now same thing we have to do for other buttons just go to the second button I will repeat this thing one more time what we are going whenever we click on to it should show us the variable the number so the display this is the display so it should show the display but what it should show in the display it should show the previous number and the number which we are going to type now so it should join previous number which was there in the display and this number so I am going to join this yes we have joined it now what do I want there I want here our variable display what was there in the display that that I want here and with that previous display I want here two because this two this order we are setting for second button okay let's check it it's showing one it's showing two great so this is how we are going to set for all the buttons 1 to 9 and 0 this sound is also there pop-up sound is there so I'm going to add sound also whenever I will press this button it should give me a little sound so that I can understand that button is pressed or not pressed so I have set the sound for 1, 2 and clear button now from third onwards I am going to copy this orders for all of them how to copy that just go to this button and drag this order that drag this block to the sprite and if you can see here I am moving and the downside blocks they are also a little shaking so on third if I want to copy paste this on third the third number is show, shaking there I will click there and now on third the order is copy pasted the instructions are copy pasted I have just to change the number for third button I will make it three for fourth four like this we will do now for fourth I am just dragging it it is dragged to the fourth just change this number to four and like this we will do for all of them Now we have given commands 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 0. And we can clear this also. Now we have to set commands for these 5 buttons. One more button we want here beside this clear that is 
the little changes we have to do that is the equation sign we want there okay so we'll take this clear button we can go to the questions clear button is there just reduce its size a little yes now one more button we are going to create adjust its height and width it should be in the center you can see how it actually looks in the preview button yes now the calculator's design layout is a little complete okay so as we said we have given commands to 1 2 3 9 and 0 now we want to give commands to this plus button okay so for that we'll go to the sprite just scroll it go to the plus sign go to the coding section so what I want to give to the coding sections a little commands before that we need to create some more variables as I said make a new variable that is memory that is first variable display then second memory and third one is and maybe our operations we can say we need variables like this display which will be showing here then we need a variable memory this will this we are not going to show it will be behind the screen to store the numbers then operation to do the all the operations like plus minus subtraction addition and answer this will be displayed here only okay so first what we have to do we have to create a command for this plus icon click on this and go to the events and there we have to make a command what is a command whenever this sprite is clicked whenever we are pressing on this plus icon what it should do it should do certain things first thing that it should take this variable it should set display to plus as its addition I am writing plus so that it would be easy for me to understand later then take this next variable change it into memory and set memory into display so whatever is there in the display it will go to the memory then again take the next and change into display nothing so set display to plus set memory to display set display to nothing easy whatever is there in the display maybe one two three whenever you click on this plus button then the number is disappeared where it went it went to the memory so display is empty now but number is there in the memory okay so we'll go to the equation sign now here again we have to create an event number is in the memory so what it should do when we click on this it should do certain things go to the control take this if and then operators and take this equals this we are going to put it here if it's not a so I think multiplications we have to take equals so here it's sign is shown yes delete this go to the variables and take a display and we have made a display as plus we have set display to the plus so it will read this command if display is set to the plus if we are doing the plus action what it should do so this is your command it is fit what it should do 
their the answer is set operation it should set operation to what it should set operation now it has to do the operation go to this like plus so we'll go to the operators from there we'll take the plus sign yes it has to take the plus sign and what it should join it should join two but two things go to the display take the memory the number which we have stored in the memory it will be there first and the number which is later on we are pressed after the pressing add button or addition sign so these things it will add <coughs> it will do the addition of that then again take one more thing after doing this thing set answer to operation set answer to operation so whatever operation you are doing it should be seen into the answer and the same we have to take for the display the answer will be displayed there only so set display to the answer directly also you can take no problem so let's see clear zero is there point one plus number disappeared it went to the memory plus make equation here yeah, 60 clear it and do another addition plus again in the number 145 went into the memory it disappeared from the display 65 145 plus 65 210 i will zoom it so that you can see 30 i will clear all the things let's see other things 256 plus 64 320 so the basic calculator will work like this whenever you start like this hello welcome to stnms basic calculator you take any number 258 plus 2 and uh, the number is 260 okay so here we have seen addition like this we can do multiplication subtraction and other operations also just i will take you it will take now few minutes only to do other operations how we are going to do uh, let's see now the same thing we have to do for this minus so whatever we have done into the plus sign same thing we are going to copy for the subtraction also here in the operation we have to just see just write subtract or take away then same thing i am going to do with this division also in division i am going to write it here instead of subtract divide so for the first time only it will take a little time to learn all this then multiplications is here yes we have copied the code to the multiplications as well now i will write it here multiply just this thing spelling it should be the same in equation whatever you are doing there it should be same here now i will just duplicate it so this way button will be duplicated we have to take this a little away this i will delete i will make a duplicate of this also because we need four for four operations one for subtraction one for addition etc so i'm going to attach all these things 
if operation is set to subtract then this we have to change so I will take out this if operation is set to multiply will it will do certain other things instead of addition so this will take out and then this we have to take at last as I said it's a basic calculator uh, why did I say it like this because if we are going to do multiple operations at a time it may not be able to do all the things at a time okay first I have what I have done I have said operation to plus then subtract then multiply and now it's to divide or division what we have written there same we have to copy here divide so I have written divide in both now if you can see here in multiplication in addition we have used this operator plus now in subtraction we have to use operator minus and in multiplication we have to use operator multiplying and in division the this operator which will help us to divide the things and what we are going to divide we are going to divide the numbers which were stored into the memory with the numbers which are there on our display so this we have to copy paste everywhere so for multiplication the number which is stored in the memory it will be multiplied by the number which is there on our display yes very easy for division also the number which was there which is there on display it will be used for division and we'll divide the number which is there in our memory so just add it into the correct blocks and work is done yes so our formula is ready just see plus 25 equals to 60 here 60 minus 30 equals to 30 clear then you can take 65 minus 23 equals to 40 clear addition multiplication division and this layout how to make in one at a time so it may be difficult for you you can try here individually today you can try how to make layout in the next day how to make addition the next day subtraction and the next multiplication division so it will be very easy it can show you division in this points also so no problem it's working very fine now we are going to make this one square so go to the sprite where it's shown square go to the events so create an event when this is clicked what it should do it's very easy it should go to the variable when it's there it should go to the variable and what it should do it should set display to multiplications yeah, because square means we have to multiply the same number so go to the operators take the multiplic multiplication operator and this you have to attach it there 
it will multiply what it will multiply it will multiply the number which is there on display with that same number it will multiply so display display and it will show you the answer just try are you 25 yes so what is the square of 5 25 clear it then make a 33 what is the square of 3 9 so it's working i will zoom in and we'll do some turn calculations you can check it on your calculator 12 plus 65 is equal to 77 great then 35 plus 61 equals to 96 clear it then write 65 divided by 23 equals to 43 great then write 85 multiplied by 1568 yes this is the your product of multiplication clear it then write 654125 divided by 5 yes you can check it with the numbers maybe like this 150 divided by 25 answer is 6 correct now we'll check some squares what is the square of 65 yes clear so this is the basic calculator you can make more features it's a totally depend on your creativity and on your interest uh, now what i'm going to do uh, if i'm pressing just a minute it's totally depend on your creativity and interest what you are going to do and what you want there now if i'm pressing on any button it's making sound but i want sound on these commands as well so i will give sound same pop-up sound or you can change it into the sound section it will show but i want one more thing that is whenever i will press this equation it's showing me the number the answer but i want this answer to be read so i will go to the text to the speech it's a uh, by default it's not there in the app we have to install Hello. the extension i will write here answer i will change the reader's voice i don't like allos i will take tenor and what it should speak it should speak the answer the product which we are going getting at the end so it should speak like that we'll check it once just see i will clear it first Seven hundred nineteen. Yes. So this we have to set four square also. Everywhere it's working. Thirty five minus one. Thirty four. Great. Now the same thing I will do for our square. Yes, it will read out the things in square also. So say it voice, then speak. Tenor, what it should speak here? Here it should speak the display, it means whatever is there on the screen it should display zero just see 
whether it's able to read the squares. Six square. Thirty six. Thirty six. Great. They even one more. Two fifty eight. Sweet. Sixty six thousand five hundred sixty four. Mm, great. Once again, we'll see. Hello. Welcome to STNMS Basic Calculator. I will, go, I will go to the, I will zoom it. Hello, welcome to STNMS Basic Calculator. 25 plus 6. 31. 65 minus 24. 41. 